Parent and teacher conferences are a very important part of education, and that time of the year is coming up. Um, so scheduling can be quite challenging. Um, so what I did here, we're going to talk about how to have parents basically schedule their own time uh, with you on their own. So using a Google form to do that. So I have here a quick little um, form and you can have any way you want to just a quick little name of student, name of parents and guardians attending. And then I put in some times in a uh, multiple choice checkbox here. So 20 minute intervals for 420 on and on until about seven o'clock. And then my last question, are there any main topics or questions? So again, like you can alter your, your Google form any way you need to for the information that you need. So let's have Google Forms create our schedule for us. So parents are going to go in, they're going to put in this information, and they're going to select a time. Now, what you don't want are multiple parents uh, selecting the same time uh, to interview with you. So as soon as they click on one, what I want it to do is remove that time as an option for the next parent to look at. So to do that, we're going to include an add-on. So I'm going to go to this little puzzle piece here where we can actually include add-ons. And you're going to see I already have three installed. I have uh, one that we're going to look at now is called Choice Eliminator Lite. Now, Choice Eliminator, you're, if you look up add-ons, uh, you'll find a number of them. But uh, for today, Choice Eliminator Lite is going to be the one that we need to do. To have that installed, what we'll have to do is go to the three dots for more. Head on down to where it says Get Add-ons. And you can do a quick search here in the marketplace for Choice Eliminator light. And then you'll notice that I have it installed, but you can go ahead and click on Choice Eliminator and install it. Again, Choice Eliminator 3 does pretty much the same thing. Um, light just has a little bit less features. We just want it to remove the choices that we have. Now that we have that installed, we're just going to go ahead and click the puzzle piece, Choice Eliminator light, and click the button Configure. And it's going to start doing some work for us. So it's going to look at our form. And we're just going to close that. And it looks for a form. It's going to find that multiple choice question. It's just going to ensure that that's the question that we want the choices eliminated from. So that please choose an interview time. Yes, that is the one that we want it uh, to be removed from. And we want, the, want it to eliminate the choices as they're being added. So once I'm done that, I'm going to go ahead and just minimize that. That can just stay on there. And now we can actually test this out. So. Let's go ahead and go to our preview mode. We can fill in some answers here. So if I want it for Frank, parents, we'll just say mom and dad. And Frank's mom and dad wants to meet at five o'clock. Just a check-in. Click Submit. And there we have that there. And let's see if that works. So I'm going to go Submit another response. And now we can see that the five o'clock option is gone. So if I actually start entering another student's name, so let's go here, dad and mom this time. And for this student, we want four o'clock. So now we should see that both four o'clock and five o'clock are all gone. Perfect. Four o'clock and five o'clock are all gone. And the best part about Google Forms is that then when it's all said and done and all the schedulings are done, we can actually view this in Sheets and we can see that Frank's mom and dad wants to see uh, have an interview at five for a quick check in. Ashley's dad and mom wants an interview at four and that's checked out. And the other thing you'll and the other thing you'll notice too is that those choices were eliminated in the editing section of the form too. So even by looking at this as a teacher, we can see that four o'clock's already been taken and five o'clock's already been taken. So that is a quick and easy way to have scheduling done for you. Uh, hopefully this helps in, in uh, organizing your parent-teacher conferences or any other meetings that you might have. Um, if you like this video and you would like to see some more, go ahead click subscribe and um, you will learn some more uh, tech tips that you can use in your classroom or anywhere really. Uh, thank you so very much and have a great day.